to May and your career and money reading. This is for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you why you should watch this for your rising sign and not your sun sign. If you don't give a shit, go ahead and watch it, whatever, but it's going to be more accurate for your rising sign. Um, we're going to cover what do career and money look like for you in general this month? What should you be looking forward to? What's going to be your biggest annoyance? Where to look more closely and then general advice and guidance for you. Um, the decks I'm using are this one here, the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is actually a tarot deck and not an oracle deck, and then the um, Number Guidance deck. Okay, let's get started. Oh, there's links in the description box below um, that are affiliate links for each of these decks. If you like the deck and you want one for yourself, because that's a common question I get in the comments, um, it doesn't cost you more to get them through that link. It just helps me keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. Gemini, your career, they're saying, you know, things might not change very quickly um, in career and any sort of leadership roles that you wanted to step into or, um, you know, they might not be coming for you as fast as you want in the month of May. So for some of you, maybe it's like you're just not able to be recognized right now because there's a lot of other things going on. For others of you, maybe you're furloughed, you know, in the pandemic um, and it's hard to kind of step out and say, hey, I, I want to take things on then. Right. Um, so that's kind of the vibe. Um, there's a little bit of a fear energy here for a lot of you in regards to career. Um, and so let's see what they want to say about that. They're just saying, you know, things have been disrupted a little bit. Like we have to balance out energies, like something new has come up for a lot of you. That's probably pandemic stuff. Um, maybe it's working from home, you know, that's different. Maybe I'm just not working at all. Maybe I got, um, you know, furloughed. Or maybe it's like a disruption to the way that I usually do things. Um, I have to do them differently now. But they're just saying, you know, things are going to balance out, but it might not happen this month. And so that's where a lot of that fear is coming from. But you have to remember that fear um, isn't like a good vibrational energy. It doesn't help you to attract what you want. So, you know, just take a deep breath and go day to day if you can in things related to career. As far as money goes, though, they're saying um, this is an awesome month to heal our vibrational energies with money. Um, so this is a month in which whatever you give to others, you get back later um, and you get it back more than you gave it. So, for example, you order food from DoorDash or Grubhub or something. Um, if you tip well, then maybe, you know, some magical thing happens later where you go and you look at your electricity bill and it's like only a quarter of what you've expected. Or maybe um, your car insurance says, hey, people aren't really driving right now. You've got this huge discounted rate, um, something like that. Like money is an energy. And so what we put out, we get back and oftentimes more than we put it out there. So just make sure um, that, you know, you're giving now and, and i'm not saying like completely deplete yourself because the payoff the reward might not come immediately okay but what i'm saying give what you can when you can because it will come back to you um so what do you have to look forward to this month and in career they're saying you know there's all of this shifting and moving around it's like endings and new beginnings and but they're faded they were supposed to happen this way and so make sure that your heart chakra is big and open and full of love you know if you love what you do good because then things are going to be a little bit easier for you as time passes if you don't love what you do try to focus on the aspects of your job of your position or of you know staying home or working from home um so that our vibrational energy stays high because a lot of things are happening sort of behind the scenes that we can't really see that will affect us in the months to come um, and hopefully for the better. For most of you, it might not immediately be apparent that it's for the better, but it has a better long-term outcome for you um, than you know the alternative. So what do you have to look forward to money wise they're just saying now some of us um this might be a hard time for us like maybe money that we put into a business like that we can't really run right now is just gone 
um, or we lost money in the stock market, or um, I'm feeling sad because you know I can't help more, or something like that. They're saying like there's a lot of conflicting mental energies going on surrounding our money. Um, and so why is that something though that is something to look forward to? And so they say because it highlights for us, you know what are the things in which we need to change our way of thinking or make changes in our lives? They say these disruptions happen for a reason in order for us to create better balance in our life so that in the future, little hiccups don't become giant catastrophes. If a highlight is shown upon you know, little things that maybe don't work right for us, disruptions or annoyances, little hurdles in our life, it prevents them from becoming, you know, giant hurdles for us later. Um, so our biggest annoyances in the workplace, it's um, we don't have a lot of patience and we feel like we can't plan. Okay, but there's nothing we can do about that, really. So just like I said, mindfulness on the day-to-day -day level, just worry about today and I'll worry about tomorrow when it comes. Um, as far as money goes, the biggest annoyance is like people talking about it all the time, right? Um, so maybe distancing yourself from social media a little bit or from the news would be helpful. Where do you need to look more closely in um, your career and then in your finances? And in career, they say, let's work on not only our material prosperity, but our spiritual prosperity because our spiritual prosperity leads us to more monetary um, prosperity, right? So I would highly, highly recommend this blog post right here. I don't want to waste time in your reading going over the concepts in it. But they say, you know, when you're doing what you love or you can find a reason to love certain aspects of what you do, when we pour love, um, so the spiritual side of things, right, um, into what we're doing for career or find ways to love certain things about it, then we can't help but attract more money into our life. So that's what they're saying here is your money situation is going to change. And it's going to be a new beginning for you, maybe starting in May, maybe that transforms in June, July. But the thing is, is it's happening for a reason. It's part of your destiny. It's part of some larger, bigger plan for you. And so what they're saying that you can't see is that all of these disruptions are for a reason. And at the end of the day, they're all going to balance out. Everything is going to come to a balance. But that's the bigger hidden lesson here is that balance is really, really important for you. And maybe you didn't notice that before. You know, maybe you were working too much or not enough before. And so like figuring that out or maybe what the best sleep schedule for you is or, you know, family time versus work time, all of those things is coming into play. And it's a little annoying, but it is what it is. Um, your crystal of the month is brown jasper. There's an article right here, um, links in the description box below. It'll tell you how, this, how it can help you in career money and then other aspects of your life as well. Um, so the overall guidance for you is um, in career, look, um, we might feel like emotionally having like a lot of mixed feelings, uncomfortable feelings. Um, we might feel like there's misunderstandings. We're not really connected to people. But that really, you know, that's a result of us not being patient and understanding that there's a bigger plan at work here. Um, and so you can acknowledge that you have those feelings, but don't let them really control you and your mood, especially in regards to the other things that we're trying to balance in our life, right? So. In regards to our money, they say your intuition or your instincts are a little bit off this month. So if you have this feeling like, oh man, I should really go do this, um, maybe that's when we want to talk to other people, consult a friend, consult a partner, an expert, um, because you're not as tuned in as you usually are when it comes to making the right um, money moves. So this might not be the best month for you, you to invest because um, your instincts might be a little bit off, okay? I love you so much and I will see you next month. Thank you.